The Union, starring Halle Berry and Mark Wahlberg. Netflix, a Netflix movie. The Range. Uh, movie. The Range. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a it's it's a bit of a it's one of those movies where they flip the uh, the characters, right? You you got you get a secret agency. Uh, Halle Berry's in the in the secret agency, and she mm-hmm. recruits Mark Wahlberg, who is an ex. What is a guy Wahlberg. from Jersey? Okay, yeah. but really he has to he has his fake his fake character to give him is from where Boston Boston. Boston. Uh, this this movie has a lot of good people. J.K. Simmons. Yeah, it has uh, Mike Coulter, Luke Cage. It has well Mark Wahlberg, Halle Berry. Uh, it has what's his face, Jackie Earl Haley, right? Mm. Freddy Krueger himself. That's yeah. true. Freddy Krueger himself. Um, the legend. I mean, this movie's not a horrible movie. No, I was surprised that I I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it is is it supposedly Halle Berry said that it's her, it's one of her first action comedies. Uh, which I didn't feel that not a lot. That of, woman. Not a lot it's, of comedy. It's a comedy. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, com- comedy. It felt. It felt like it's an action movie with sprinkled. With a little comedy. A little comedy in it, but it's yeah. mainly an action movie. I mean, it only has it only has that Mark Wahlberg talking too fast. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, doggy. Hey, what's up, Mark? How's it going? You live in a barn, right? I'm in Max Payne. Have you seen that movie? Okay, donkey. Say hi to your mother for me. Uh, but from the beginning of the movie, I already I figured out exactly what was happening. The mm. one once the movie started, oh, I yeah. already knew what was happening. Like, oh, dude, that's yeah. the bad guy. Yeah. Instantly, I was like, I'm. You're not gonna convince me otherwise. The way this movie was was shown right away mm. gave 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 away what was happening. Uh, but it it has to do with. Uh, Halle Berry is not part of a special team called the Union, and they're they're searching for this briefcase full of data that has every agent worldwide, From every organization, every organization. So, what 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 a spy movie has not done this? That's true. Didn't uh, Mission Impossible do that? Mission Impossible, yeah. even that's, Fast that's and Furious. What, what happens to it all? Every Mission Impossible is about that. Oh, we got a nuke. Yeah. No, I think there is one. Everybody in the in the organization. The, the yeah. most recent one. Yeah. Uh, Dead Reckoning. Yeah, oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there was. But it also one. happened in in part one, in part two, in part three, and but mm-hmm. always comes comes attached to a bomb. It's the same shit. It's like they But this one, this one, there's game. no bomb. This one, there's no bomb. They're just releasing it. No, and it, true, true that. They're just releasing mm-hmm. it. Uh, and you know, Halle Berry is Halle- too. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't. Austin Powers didn't have anything to do really with people's information. Just Doctor Evil. But uh, yeah, you, Halle Berry, right. recruit, Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg, and uh, hilarity ensues. No, the funniest thing about this whole movie was his mom calling and always knowing who he's banging. <laughs> well, the fact that he bangs Dana Delaney, Nicole Hoffman, a seventh, a seventh grade teacher, Miss Hoffman. All right, it, that's where the movies. That's where you get introduced to him. Hey, hey, Ma, Ma, how do you know? How do you know? Yeah, he he was he's sleeping with his seventh grade teacher. Uh but I mean, the seventh grade teacher was. I'm just gonna say. I mean, how do the seventh grade teacher like? Mm-hmm. How how do you look older than your seventh grade teacher? I know. All over, hundred percent. It's a work union job. You know, I, I go up on the on top of the bridge. That's what I do. So I go up there, right? So what, how you doing? How you doing? Say your mother for me. All right, yeah, you stretch that. <laughs> that too long. Uh, no more. No, no more. That's Marvel. what she said. No, no more. Marvel. What? <laughs> you, you're now banned Wait, what are from you talking about, from man. Then it'd be Mark Wahlberg. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, this is this has this movie has nice. It's good action set pieces, right? And you know what? I was I was I was just thinking the about the handles are bad. Hand I know. I was I was actually thinking about this uh, yes, yesterday while I was watching um, uh, other movies. Companies are going back to like the old days. Like you remember in the fifties, in the thirties, nineteen the thirties and stuff like that. You used to have contract stars with certain studios. Mm, That's nothing. what it's starting to feel like again. It's starting to feel like oh, you know, Amazon is going to make has a special contract with uh, John Cena, and John Cena is going to make all these movies that are coming out on Amazon Prime. Netflix is Mark Wahlberg and Adam Sandler. They're going to be making movies exclusively for you know these guys. That's what it's starting to feel like, and this is what you know. This is this is the kind of stuff that we're getting. We're getting them put into different. I mean, 
typical movies, but also in a lot more movies, right? You had the Mark Wahlberg and Kevin Hart on, in another Netflix movie, right? You have now Mark Wahlberg and his his friend, which I forgot that they, they were from the 90s, him and Halle Berry, right? Uh, oh, back with Mark and Mark. Yeah, and the pictures at the end of the movie. Uh, but I but I am gonna say this is this, this is not I, a, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I saw I saw those pictures, it gave me good vibrations. <laughs> but I but you you can I, deny I think that helps though that uh that they had that they're friends that they're friends they had, because they had a lot of good chemistry. Yeah, they were good together. They good, good chemistry. Halle Berry does not age, she's one of those women that will forever be Halle Berry, you, even with the silver in her hair, she still looks awesome. That's the storm hair, right? She's wearing the storm hair, but yeah, because she, she she really she wanted looks, she wanted to be into that for movie. almost being for almost being sixty. She looks she she looks really good. She's that, really that's, good that age. story she was telling people that she uh, she told Blake Lively, "Hey, I'll I'll be in it in a heartbeat if he t- if he calls me." He never called. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, this is, uh, Deadpool. Never mind. Ali Berry being in Deadpool. Oh. Random stories in he's having his own episode. I know. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Onset secret. <laughs> no, but I, this movie does this works works well. Mike Coulter, you know, the guy who played Luke Cage, mm. he's been doing a lot of movies like this where he, like he's spoilers, where he's the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> and but this is this is a typical, you know, recipe. It's like you have a movie where you introduce somebody with a bigger name. You know that gets killed at the beginning of the killed at the beginning of the movie, and you automatically know that's the bad guy. You're not gonna I hire mean, somebody that it's been on that's been on other Netflix. And by the way, he was Luke Cage in the Netflix Luke Cage show, um, right? And uh, so you, Netflix isn't gonna hire him to to just play a small part in the movie. Obviously, that's that's kind of the reason why I was like, oh yeah, when I was watching, I was like, yep, that's him. That's it. That's See, it. I did too, and then I saw J.K. Simmons. I was like, "No, yeah, but he played, the, but he played more of a prominent part." Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but right. there was he a more- there was a moment where like remember when everybody got uh, got taken out, and they're like, "Oh, where where is he? Where is he? Where do we went? Where do you want?" There's an explosion. We can't get a hold of him. It's like, like, wait, is he gonna have something to do with it? No. Yeah, so right. they tried to do that, but I'm smart enough to be like, "Yeah, that's, that's not that's not true." No. No, because it's J.K. Simmons. He literally early in the game is like, "There's can't, like I only trust people in this room." Bro. Over, over, uh, J., you know, J. Jonah Jameson, whatever the voice he makes. Mm. Um, but, <laughs> insert impression. Yeah, <laughs> insert clip here. No, but but yeah, it's just it's just uh, I I enjoy this. The action sequences, the car chases, the the gun the gun battles. They didn't use. They didn't go heavy in CGI. Uh-uh. A lot of it seemed that like it was practical. Hand, that was like like you said earlier, hand to hand combat from both Halle Berry and Mark Wahlberg. And then, by the way, Mark Wahlberg's character only getting trained for two weeks, and then like the best. And, and I like the I like the whole thing is like You're, the whole bar fights. It happens all the time. You know, and, I, and I like the whole and I I like the whole part in the, in the story where they're saying they're pretty much saying, hey, you know what? It's like. You, it's like everyone believes in the Mark in Mark Wahlberg's in Mike. Everyone believes in Mike that he better than what he than better than he can that, that he can do. He just doesn't believe in himself, mm. and he has to believe in himself. Like, like she even tells him, like you, you, like you want to live that life because you don't want to give yourself credit for other things, uh, or like, per, like know that you're better than you are. And I like that. I like that in the movie that, like, it, even though it's only two weeks of training, and at the end of the, at, you know, by the end of the movie, he's like at least a, somewhat of a season. He knows what he knows how to handle himself in uh, in a in a fight. Because the the first the first time he's pretty much hiding and running. Most and then after is, that, most guys fighting. in you guys to fight. Teams just fight. <laughs> continue, continue with yeah. this. Keep talking about the teamsters. You're gonna disappear <laughs> like Kafa. Nah, teamsters are are wusses nowadays. Or Oh, easy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What? He's really he's going to get beat Come up. Come at me. I'm in Arizona. What's up? <laughs> it's gonna be, <laughs> I'm in Arizona. <laughs> it's going to be Bruce Almighty all over again. They're going to yeah, fight yeah. this body, like Jimmy Hoffa's body. Uh, <laughs> again, <laughs> Okay. No, but but I, I, I am I like I will say that Netflix did a really good job with the pairing. Like you said, they have really good chemistry. The story, the story is yes, it's I've we've seen this a bunch of times, but it's it this movie doesn't over doesn't overstay its welcome. It works, it 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 does you know it 
gets you from A to B, and it's an enjoyable movie. It's the characters are great. You know, Halle Berry's uh, Roxanne and Mike Wahlberg's uh, Mark Wahlberg's Mike, right? They uh, they <laughs> they have good Mike chemistry. Wahlberg. Mike Wahlberg's <laughs> Mark. Uh, no, Mark Wahlberg's Mike. They have good chemistry together. They it works. This movie does work, and I can definitely see like sequels in this with them together. Well, they right? also teased it though. That's why I said I can see sequels with them together. <laughs> so they, they, yeah, they you kind of you kind of get that feeling at the end of the yeah. movie. If it does well enough, they'll. Well, they, they did the same thing with Spencer Confidential, though. They they kind of tease the they tease the possible. See, but you know, if you movie. notice, like that that more that one, I wouldn't have remembered it unless you just said it. <laughs> right, I wouldn't have remembered that movie. Unless I actually you said I actually it. liked it. I actually like Spencer Confidential. No, I liked it too, but it's one of those things I didn't remember it until you just brought it up. There you go. See another Netflix movie. Like that's again goes back to my my theory that they're going back to contract stars. Mm. Uh, I I recommend I can re I recommend this movie. It's on Netflix. You can definitely watch it whenever you need to. It's it's yeah. It's if it's you don't a, have Netflix, borrow it. Yeah, and it's it's a it's a good <laughs> it's a good blend, right? You you it has it's a good amount of action with sprinkles of comedy. Mm -hmm. It's not long. It it's not a long. It's, movie. it's not a long. Not a long movie. It doesn't well, it overstate. Doesn't, it movie. doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's long. Movie. It's 107 minutes long. Oh, even better. Right. It's yeah. 107 minutes long. It's not a long movie. It's and the, everyone does a good job. It knows everyone when it ends. ends. It yeah. knows when it ends. Everyone who was in the movie did knew what they knew what they were given. It was straightforward story and it works. It and it's as it's not a crazy espionage movie. No. It's, it's a fun action action movie it's a fun it's what it is it's a fun action movie with not the best movie but it is it's okay it's, it's enjoyable I, I i recommend it it's it's a solid film solid film and, and it's it's halle berry come on now it's halle berry it's halle berry i mean relax there's, no 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 it's halle berry not bad it's halle berry there's there's no it's uh you know halle berry halle berry gave us so many so many memorable movies monsters ball Babs uh, right, is, right. is a bad version of Disorderlies. What? <laughs> okay, uh, Disorderlies is is gold. <laughs> Babs is the Frankenstein. Like Disorderlies. <laughs> telling you, she gave us so many movies. And we said Monster Ball, uh, Swordfish. Swordfish. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, they paid a lot of money for that for that movie. And then I she know. paid. She got paid like a like a percentage of that to do Monsters Ball with Deadpool. I mean, with uh, Wolverine. With Wolverine, yeah. She was she was already in the movie with Hugh Jackman mm -hmm. called Swordfish. Look it up, guys. You're welcome. Next on time. that note, uh, I forgot what, what time. It on comes that out. note, this has been Vinny. Uh, it's Ozzy. And I'll see you guys next time. It's my screensaver. <laughs>